everyone. Today is another my new tutorial about how to DIY crochet your strawberry sweater. It's so beautiful. Actually, this is my first time to knit a sweater. I mean, like this, I never crocheted it. In the past, I did some uh, knitting, but never crocheted. I feel like I'm so in love with it. So now I'm going to show you how to DIY your own crocheted strawberry sweater. So I got this wool yarn from online fashion source. It's really beautiful wool 100% and also the crochet ring. I think it's really good for the beginner. It's really easy to guide how you crochet and pull and the, the tension as well. You just uh, hook the them on and then that's it. First of all, you need a chain of nine to make the stitch and then go backwards, crochet one and pull out one. The next stitch and pull out one. Just keep doing at the end. Once you reach the end, you need to crochet extra stitch. Um, then turn around. What does it mean? Let me show you. This is the end, and then you're going to pull it and then make one stitch. So you turn around. Here you go. So there is a little bit of trick I want to show you guys. When you do the the other row, you make sure go outside one, not the inside or all of them, not all of them. So go outside hole, yes, like I showed you, go outside one, not all of them, outside one, then hold it, pull over, and pull over. Yeah, then you are going to keep doing like this for about 11 row. Once you reach 11 row, in our I will show you guys how you to make the next part. So, to making this part is the yeah is the waist here for making uh, my uh, sleeves. So once you finish that, I'm gonna show you. You need to crochet the top part every stitch. You're going to crochet single crochet the top part. The reason I want to show you guys is because you wanted to crochet easier. So that's why. And then I'm just sewing this part, so it's super easy. Right, just sew this part, and then you pull one, and then chain of three. Chain one and then chain two, chain three. Then you're going to go to the okay, go to the same and the original hole and then go to the original hole again so that you can um increase increase the stitch. So yarn over and then you go to the next hole. The next stitch we are going to may not going to just do a, a next stitch double crochet. Yeah, just to go the next hole one time only. And then I'm gonna show you. Yes, here we go. Yarn over and then go to the next stitch. You're going to make it two double crochet in the same hole then one double crochet next hole I'm going to do like this for about the two row and I'm going to show you how you're going to connect this part once you connect uh, your chain of three, I'm going to keep doing like this for almost about two rows. After two rows, I just uh, don't increase and I keep doing it. So, till 25, and then I will 
stop and I'm going to make my body part so body part you're going to chain over nine at the beginning I'm going to show you here you just do the same thing as your sleeve I'm not going to show you so details here and doing that again the outside part yes here we go so this part is going to be um, my body part I'm going to show you this so we are going to uh, meet 13 rows once you get in 13 rows you going to start from your yeah the first the whole here we go as you can see we are going to just make the top stitch like I showed you before the reason we do that is because it's easier to me to do real crochet later. so I'm going to yarn over to do chain of three and turn around so now here I'm just chain of three and just go the go start from your first uh, hole and then do double crochet once you finish this we just keep going till the end of this row but at the end of this row I'm gonna show you that I need to increase the stitch so that you need to be careful at the end I'm gonna show you what you want to one side is straight and another side is wave like I showed you here so how I'm going to do to chain of three here and so now this is a chain of three I finished the chain of three and then I'm going to add this side again start from the original hole go to the original hole because I need to increase my stitch on this side so um, I'm going to go to the same hole yarn over pull through yarn over pull through pull through yeah double crochet and then from this part, I'm going to the original hole again. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then we just keep doing like this, okay? Till we just keep doing like this till the 11th row. At the 11th row, um, I will show you what I mean at the eleventh row. So we're going to have a, um, a shape. Always on that side. Double crochet two times. Once we need the eleventh row. Okay. Now I'm leading the eleventh row. At the end of the eleventh, um, the end of uh, two. You know, there's a two stitch left over. So start from the last two stitches, yarn over, pull through from the next stitch, and then yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, then the last stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through. This is how we decrease, okay? We're going to keep doing like this for till uh, the shoulder part till total is 25th stitch chain of three always and then turn around and we are going to do the same thing at here decrease okay yarn over start from the third hole and then yarn over pull through yarn over then next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through okay 
So here we go. Then we should be doing always at that side to make a bulky look later. So we just keep going till the twenty fifth row. Go. This is all my uh, front, front, back. Back is just rectangular, and this is sleeve part. And then I'm going to attach them together. Always test uh, if that works good. Anyway, next to the one. 